welcome to Long Life Trainer. I'm James Long. I am the Long Life Trainer. Today, we are working on right hand. We are working on a professional right hand, straight right hand. That's what we're working on today. If you happen to be a southpaw, then we'll work on your straight left. But that's what we're working on. Make sure the key elements to a right hand are turning the heel, hip, and shoulder. All of them are working together. Then we're spot on. So that's what we're working on today. Let's go get it. All right, here we go. It's time for the stretching, old man stretch. <laughs> Same thing, we're gonna take that bar, put it over and go on side to side. Now make sure when you do this, your abdominals are activated, okay? And then we're gonna go with the twist and all you're doing is nice and easy. You're loosening up the back. I, I, I mean, I gotta keep repeating there. Loosen the lower back up. The entire back with a lower back more than anything. Now right here, my neck is just sore, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. I'm sleeping wrong or something. My neck is killing me, so I'm just stretching the neck out. You don't pull down on the neck. You simply rest your hands and let gravity do what it may and that'll stretch your neck out there. And I'm just really, really slow rolling the neck. It's just, I don't know, it's old age. It's called getting old, people. That's all. And like always, we're gonna loosen up those shoulders. Loosen it up, loosen the shoulders, loosen up the back. Loosen up the, those lats. Try to keep your traps loose. It's very hard to do in boxing, especially when you're starting. You know, that trap is the thing that connects from your neck and goes down to your shoulder and wraps around, around the shoulder joint and around to the rib cage. That is the trapezius, the trap muscle. It gets really tight because people aren't constantly shrugging their shoulders when they box. You've got to loosen those shoulders up. We're going to work on that today. That'll give you a better right hand. Same thing. We're back to loosening up the legs now. That's all. I'm just shooting, just shoots. I call them shoots. They're just shooting through my legs and then I'll go left and right. Like I said, lower back, baby, lower back. I'm breathing, keep breathing. That's all I'm doing, getting to the left side, getting to the right side. That's all I'm doing. And at the end, I am gonna shake those shoulders and shake everything out. That's it right there, and I should feel marvelous. All right, here we go. So now we're just bringing the knees up, same thing. That lower back, baby, that lower back. Hamstrings. We are loosening things up, getting all the oil moving through the joints. That's what happens when you get old, people. A lot of you kids, man, you just jump in there, start hitting bags and going crazy. Ah, well, this is what happens when you get older. You cannot do that. All right, I used to be like that. Just jump in the gym and just go. Can't do that anymore, baby. All right, so hop on a line and go forward. Work on your stance. Always work on your stance. You've been doing this 20 years, 15 years. Work on your stance. I know professionals, multi-world champions, what do they do? They get in the ring and they work on their stance, their movement, forward and backward. We're going to be working a lot of different movements later on in, these, in this video series. And that's it. So now we're going through the water with the shoulder. We are not going to worry about the bullets. We worry about the gun. If the gun doesn't work, the bullets do not matter. Our bullets are our arms and our hands. Our gun is our body. So we're gonna go through the water, back and forth. Now, here we go. Now we're putting the bullets in the gun. Here we go. Okay, make sure we got it feeling good. Elbows in. Shoot that elbow. There it is right there. Good. Shoot it, feel the balance. Forward, backward, you are balanced. You do not throw all your weight on that front foot. Do not do it. There we go. Feel the weight on your back foot. You've got to feel that power in your back foot. If all the weight is on your front foot, you are doomed. You take a shot, you will wake up tomorrow. There we go. Feel the weight on your back. See what I'm doing? Feel the weight on that back foot. Some of the biggest mistakes people make are throwing all their weight to that front foot. Then you take a shot, you will wake up tomorrow. There, now we're going back. Now this is a space jab. This is gonna give me the space I need. And if I come back, if he follows me, I'm turning that right hand or right hand over, which is what we're doing today. And 
basically you're going slow. Don't wear yourself out in these uh, warm up. This is a warm up. We are getting everything ready, studying for the test, so to speak. Okay, there we are. We're getting our balance, getting that uh, that stance together. There we go. Everything's forward. There. Now the, now the bolts are not in the gun. We're preparing the gun for what we, what we needed to do. There we go. See how that shoulder's completely turned? We call it flipping the switch. You take that back shoulder and just a light switch, flip it over. See how that flips just like a light switch on the wall. That back shoulder will flip all the way forward. There's the left, that's the jab, and here comes the right hand. Boom, flip the switch on the right hand. Flip the switch. That's what we call it, or what I call it anyway. I've called it to all of my fighters. There we go. There's your jab and right hand. Balance and control. One, two, balance and control. Maintaining distance with the jab. Okay, now here we go. Let's study this. Let's get into it. Watch the heel, the right heel. Watch the right heel. That is the key. Turn the key. Everything else will open. There you go. You turn the key, it'll open that hip. Open that hip. Turn the key. The key is the heel. Turn the key, the hip will open. There we go. And in turn, that shoulder will flip over. You can flip the switch. Turn the key. There it is. There's the hip flips. And the shoulder continues right through. Heel, hip, shoulder is the key to the right hand. If you happen to be a left-hander, fine. Work on your straight left hand. What's it matter? Same difference. Here we go. Straight. I'm feeling my balance from the right to the left. I am not have all my weight on my front. I do not have all my weight on my back. And my back foot, I mean, is distributed perfectly, equally. Feel the push in the drive through that right hand. If I hit a solid shot, it should drive through the hand, through the arm, through the shoulder, through the back, down the leg, and you'll feel it in that calf muscle, in that, in that foot. You'll feel the shot, just like an earthquake, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling. I didn't get it that much. I didn't get it that much. I was not a big time puncher. I was a speed guy. Speed guy and a cutter. I like to cut people up with quick punches. I did not have the big one shot knockout. I was not that guy. So there you go. Flipping the switch on the right hand. That's what we call it. Turn the heel, turn the hip, turn the shoulder. Flip the switch on the right hand. You see my shoulders are relaxed. I don't have my shoulder up like I'm doing a shrug. Loosen the shoulders. It doesn't look like my shoulders are loose. <laughs> but I do weight lift and stuff now. Guys, I don't uh, can't do the boxing anymore. My body is torn up. I'm doing this for you. Show you how to do it the correct way. There we go. All works together. Now when I'm turning over, that front foot, my elbows inside. I want to flip that, flip that hip. That hip will launch the elbow from my body. Boom! And shoot it, just like a gun. Now here we go, right forward. Here's the way it looks. See you want to get skinny. Throw it. I'm skinny going through the water with the jab, through the water with the right hand. That's how we do it. Here we go. Let's put some bullets in the gun. Let's see what we got. Shoot it, there it is, straight down there, balance and control, left and right balance, and shoot the right hand, balance and control, and bring it back, shoot, back to guard, back to guard, left hand, there's your jab, my elbows in, and shoot the right hand, good, and my elbows in, hands are up on the other side, shoot the jab, here comes that right hand, right down the pike, boom, there it is, there you go. All right, let's see this. Let's 
see this from the right side. You'll see that, no, you, you don't see the hip here. You don't, sorry, you don't see this, you see the, uh, the heel. You see that hip and you see that shoulder. Now what I'm saying here is that elbow's got to stay inside. That elbow gets, gets launched. The hip and the latissimus muscle, that back muscle, the big fan belt back muscle back there will launch the elbow and the right hand. Now we'll flip over. This is the blind side, guys. Remember these terms because the, these are the terms I'm going to use through the series of these videos because these are the terms that I use when I train my fighters. Now we are at the back side, blind side. Sorry, this is the blind side of a fighter. We're going to show you that. Now see how that the body completely switches? You're flipping the switch. Look at that hip turns over, shoulders turn completely over. All right, that left shoulder's forward, and then you're going to flip it back. Now the now that shoulder is, they completely exchange one another's positions. So we're getting our stance, getting our squat and feeling the power in our stance. Okay, putting the bullets in the gun. Okay, rest those elbows on your hips. Rest them on your hips. Hips up, hips up, chin down, eyes up. There we go, feeling the balance and control. And shoot the right hand, feel the balance and control. Now you see how that front knee is bent the front knee is bent right there like I said if you ever have any trouble you feel off balance you're not feeling right okay like I'm saying there hips are forward make yourself small hips up chin down eyes up but if you ever feel off balance doesn't feel right to you something's wrong you're off balance you don't feel the power so I should have my right foot out a little bit more away from that uh, line out towards my shoulder when I throw the right hand I'm throwing it a little too skinny. You see right there? Yeah, that's a little bit better. But if you have any problems, you feel off balance, you're losing power, left knee should be bent, focus on that, and then simply take that right foot and slide it outside towards that right shoulder. And usually that'll correct any problems you have with the right hand in balance and control and your power, to be honest with you. So, same thing as we did with the jab before. Now we're doing it with the right hand. We call these the bag right hands. Now back in my day, when I was back in my day, back in my day when I was fighting, they used to say to the wall. And we would go to the wall and we would do this against the wall. I have a lot of wall space. Most of my wall space is uh, used. So we are gonna use the bag, which is what I prefer anyway. But and that's all. Simply, you want that latissimus, that lat muscle, that back muscle, that big fan back muscle in the back. You want it to shoot with that hip. You want it to shoot that elbow and arm straight out. Boom. Bring it back. Exhale with that right hand. And then bring it back right there. Get skinny. Get snug. Get close to that bag. Make it uncomfortable. Yes, it's called training means get uncomfortable let's do it okay so now we're going to get into the lines all right so as we worked on a step jab right now we are going to work a step right hand it's in and out one of my favorite things to do in and out we're getting there we're making contact with the punch and we are getting out so we cannot get hit ourselves so that's it now we're going to work on that right hand now what i'm getting ready for is i need to move that right hand. I'm gonna move that back foot just over the line. You do not want that left, or sorry, that right foot to go past the left heel. You see how it goes before it gets to that right, gets beyond my left heel. All right, because you don't want to sit flat in front of opponent. Right there, bring it back. It's a short little movement, but that little movement staying wide. You see that? You don't want to bring your knees in. Not like that. You want to keep do not want to bring it in. You want to keep it wide. The same dimension right there. Just underneath your shoulders right there. Keep it wide. Keep it wide. You're going to close distance. Shoot. You don't want to do that. That's going to lock your hip out. If you get closer to the body, the hip can't turn over. And in turn, the shoulder can't turn over. And you get no length and you get no power. But if you leave it wide, you keep that back foot out with 
the right foot out with that right shoulder, look at the turn you get. It is unbelievable the power that you can turn over if you do this correctly. It's a simple step right hand. A lot of people cannot do this. This is a professional punch. This is not an amateur punch, people. Believe me, you will not see this in the amateurs or any, you know, any uh, superstars running around hitting bags quick and acting like they got something in their pants. They got bugs in their britches or whatever. So you're not gonna see that here. This is a turnover, powerful, hey, hello punch. Wake you up or put you to sleep. It's gonna do one of the two. All right, keep those. Yeah, keep that foot the same distance underneath that shoulder and turn it over. Step and then step back. It's a step, there it is. Boom, feel the solid. Do not let that foot go past the right heel. Or sorry, the left heel. Simple. One foot forward, one foot back. It always stays that way. Your front foot is always forward. Your right foot, your front foot is your left foot. It's always forward. Your right foot is always back. Never, ever let that change. If you keep that in your head, you'll be fine. Here it is. Contact and away. Contact and away. I can score and I cannot get scored on. Right there. We'll be, we'll, we'll be moving, I'm doing a lot of moving and shaking and moving my head and doing all this stuff. We'll get into that in other videos. This is just the stuff I've been, you know, read on every day in my life. I did this every day from 88 all the way until Jesus was 2018. step jab and our step right hand. So this is what eventually is what we want to do. Make contact and finish the contact with the right hand. There's one. One. And two. Be able to drive an ungodly amount of distance with that right hand. quick, very fast, very solid punch if you do it correctly. Keep that right foot underneath the shoulder. Out there as wide as the shoulder. One, two. See how that works? So quick. It's so quick. Once you're there and you're gone before they even know it. And usually on this kind of punch, we'll go with a one, two, and we'll fade out to the blind side. So what that means is that's your right side. You're going to do a moon shape out that right where your right shoulder is. It's going to be a one, two, and you're going to shake out your right side well there it was that's the right hand so let's turn our hip let's turn our heel heel hip shoulder sorry turn that heel turn that hip turn that shoulder uh, and let the hand go make sure that elbow stays close um, shoot from the hip just like they say shoot from the hip and that's how you throw that right hand keep practicing keep that balance um, keep that stability and um, keep getting it all right and we will see you next time like and subscribe help me out I give you this, give me that. All right, help me out. All right, we'll see you soon. Let's go.